Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. So today I'm trying out a gel polish kit from a brand called One Day Saving and I'm going to be reviewing one of their affordable gel polish kits and this actually came with a bunch of stuff which I'm really excited about so I'm just going to get straight into the unboxing. Um, the box was a little bit squashed on the inside but that's because um, I believe it was shipped from like China or something so it took a while and I live in the UK so um, it does happen a lot where the boxes get squashed so um, other than that the products were protected in like this plastic baggie and it was okay I don't think anything was damaged except one item which was a bit squashed but other than that everything else was good so i'm just going to start taking out everything from the first bag and this kind of comes with all the nail prep such as your nail files your pads and some glue as well it comes with a brush and a bunch of other things this was actually a really favorite product of mine for from this kit because um, this extend gel actually worked super nice and it was a very good um, also like builder gel consistency the only thing I didn't like about it was that it was in this little jar which was kind of hard to open but once you get the seal off um, the packaging itself is actually very cute and it kind of has like these little legs at the bottom of the jar which I didn't show and it kind of sits on your table and it just looks adorable so that's definitely something I like. I also like that you get these um, nail decorations. So I actually don't have um, some of these colored rhinestones. So it was really nice to have for my collection. It's like a little wheel that you can kind of open. Um, it also comes with striping tape, but I'm not actually a fan of striping tape just because I find it a bit um, fiddly to work with. I also prefer to just use like a gel polish and a striping brush to do my lines. So. I don't think I'm going to be using the striping tape but it's really nice that they did add it and it is really cute and holographic as well and on screen I've put um, a 5% discount code which you can use it's just camin05 off and that gives you 5% off your order on their website and I'm going to link all the details down below. The next thing we get is some fiberglass. I've never used fiberglass, but I was very like curious to see what it felt like. So I took one out of the pack and it feels like kind of like very stiff actually, which makes sense since you're since you will be able to like build on top of it easily. So that was quite interesting. You also get this cuticle bit that I used to use a long time ago. Then you also get a brush, of course. Everyone needs a brush when doing their nails, just helps to remove the dust. You get the mini cuticle pusher, which I used to open the gel and honestly I'm not a fan of it, it's just too small and I don't think I would use it. You also get some cute pink toe separators, I really like these, they felt really soft and sturdy as well at the same time, so I will definitely be using those. Next we get some tweezers and this is of course going to help you with your striping tape and the little kind of gems that we got earlier. You also get three types of nail files, two of them are going to be 180 to 100 grit hand file and these were quite like strong files. I was really impressed with the quality of these files and do bear in mind that this gel polish kit does retail for £29 if you're in the UK and around $33 if you're um, in the United States. So yeah, this was actually quite interesting and I think it's definitely one of those more affordable kits. I mean, you also do get a mini little light as well, which that itself can be quite expensive these days. So, so far I was pretty happy with everything I got. Um, you'll also see that I pull out um, a little block which I used to use this so much when I first started doing nails because I used to work with like regular nail polish and I always used to use this buffing block. It always used to help my natural nails so much and it was just like a four in one quick thing that I used to just do and go. So this just brought back so many memories and it honestly does work. If you guys haven't tried this try it out but I do long nails now so I don't really use it as much. And the last thing we get are some cuticle cutters, which I actually needed, so I'm really happy it came in this kit. 
and that's pretty much everything for the first bag then underneath came this little light first of all i love that it's pink second of all i was a bit skeptical about how good this would be um, considering the price of the whole kit but surprisingly it cured absolutely everything that i used today including the extend gel and the gel polish so i was honestly so surprised and really happy it also comes with a 30 second 60 second and 99 second timer on the lamp but it also does have a automatic sensor which i thought was really nice as well so so far really impressed and here i am just showing you the timer as well and yeah so far so good so the next bag comes with all the like gel products that we you would use i guess most of them anyway and this kit is obviously a gel polish kit so i got a lot of gel polish and here are all the colors i'm just going to do a quick swatch there were too many to like show individually on camera but all these shades are numbered and i will be telling you guys which numbers i will be using today um as i progress further into the video but for now these are all the shades this was definitely um a kit that was tailored more towards the pinks and the reds i do like that they've thrown some really light colors such as the purple and the, the really light lavender-ish kind of color at the beginning and they also included some like sheer jelly shades like the pink with the glitter in it and the last shade as well and these were all the shades pretty much side by side and these were just really pretty shades as well i didn't feel like they were great for halloween um but i did receive this a while back so it is kind of on me for not filming earlier but anyways um I'm going to go in and just start doing my nail prep, I guess. My nails are already kind of prepped. I'm just going to do like base coat. I've already applied a peel off base coat as well. And upon tr trying out the base coat, I did find that this was kind of like on the thicker side, which personally I like. I like a more thicker base coat because I feel like it adds a little bit more extra thickness and strength to the nail, especially when I have my bare nails like this. But here I am just doing a nice thin layer of base coat, making sure all the nails are covered and then curing that for 60 seconds. And today I'm using my AliExpress full cover square gel nail tips and I'm basically going to start off with picking up some of that extend gel on a round brush and I will be linking all the other products that are not included in this kit as well down below so don't forget to check that out too and I did watch a couple videos I don't do the um, gel x method too much so I'm not too sure how to do it very well but I do try and I've noticed that actually coating the inside of the nail tip before applying the blob at the cuticle area actually helps the gel to kind of glide down the nail a lot easier um, rather than kind of kind of applying itself unevenly if that makes sense. It kind of just glides down in one nice even layer and I don't have to like remove the nail making sure that it's needs more gel in one place than the other it just kind of just settles itself really nicely um, another thing that i've started doing is pushing down the nail tip really slow and um, what's one thing i actually never used to do i just kind of used to go in there and squash it down pretty fast which is not good i used to get a lot of air bubbles and the gel just kind of used to spill um, that also kind of depends on the consistency of the gel i find that this gel was really really nice and thick um, but it didn't spill um, when I applied which was really nice as you can see it I did go over I'm still kind of learning um, so I should probably have applied a little less gel but you kind of want the gel to just about reach your natural nail And once all those nails were on, I took some acetone and a lymph-free wipe and I just basically wiped down the surface of the nail. And this is going to kind of chemically buff the natural nails. I did this because I was I didn't want to use a buffer today. I just wanted to use some acetone and it was just quicker as well. So that's what I did. And as you can see, the nails are really nice and flush. They just look really good and I honestly really like these nails. You guys should really check them out. So now I'm just doing another layer of that base coat and the reason you want to do this is so that the gel polish sticks on top and I'm doing a nice thin layer of this and I really love the consistency of this base coat. It's really reminding me of the Madame Glam base coat 
um, which is a really nice high-end product so if you guys kind of really want a good affordable kind of product but at a really low price then I feel like this kit was ticking all those boxes for me um, and I'm not huge on doing this method but I feel like it was so easy and just so nice to work with these gels today that I just really enjoyed it now that that is on i went ahead and cured for another 60 seconds and i'm going in with shade number three this is like a nice light purple and upon doing the application on the nail i saw that it was like a nice light milky shade i didn't mind it um of course this shade is buildable the consistency of the gel was nice and thin it wasn't thick to the point where if i did do about two or three more coats it would like take away from the shape of the nail and the nail will be bulky i felt like if i did do another couple coats it would just kind of level out really nicely because it is more on the thinner side so that was a nice plus for me um, and obviously the shade is beautiful of course it's not patchy as you can see it, you just give it a second if there's some errors that you kind of don't like and you'll just see the gel kind of leveling out here i am just cleaning up a little bit if you get any gel on your skin definitely clean it up as soon as you see it because some people do have reactions to that so just remember to keep a little brush on the side in case of any mistakes the next shade is number 39 and um, this one was also really pretty i feel like this was such a good pop art like color to do and i did do one coat of this because i didn't feel like it needed a second so i did one coat of that and then stuck that in the light for 60 seconds and something i like to do is also just run my fingers along the side to just kind of keep the shape of the nail this next shade is like a nice olive kind of green i'm not big on this shade but i feel like it worked so good for this design and i've never used it before so yeah this was really like interesting to try out today the consistency of this gel was also really nice and thin despite being more opaque than the purple one it was just a really nice consistency and i didn't feel like it was running anywhere i did get it on my skin by accident today i don't know what was wrong with me but i just quickly used my gloves to clean that up um, and then just kind of filling in the edges making sure i've got the color nice and even this last shade was a similar consistency to the purple gel polish that i used um, it was still really nice and one thing that i did like about the gel polishes in this kit that i mentioned earlier was that it does come with like um, some jelly shades and i really have been into jelly shades recently i feel like they're such a nice little kind of color that you can put over natural nails and this particular kit had a gel polish which was like pinky purple jelly and it has some shimmers in there and i just kind of swatched that on my natural nails before the video and i really liked it i thought it was just so beautiful and they had a similar one which was like a peachy orangey one which i think would work great on top of like an orange color for halloween so yeah i just feel like this um the gels in here can be used to create so many looks for um christmas for summer for spring and for um, pretty much any kind of festive season as well this color was actually one of my favorites too it was definitely a pop art kind of color it was bright it was funky it was bold and it just applied so beautifully so i then did a cure for about 60 seconds and the light was able to cure everything really well in just the first 60 seconds i didn't feel like i needed another 60 seconds so the light was definitely um working as it should be because sometimes i feel like with these kits you can get like a really weak light but this one definitely was not that so i'm just gonna go in with the main part of the video which is the pop art this was like so easy i feel like anyone can do this it's so hard to like mess this up as well like it's just so easy you can do your lines as thin or as thick as you want um all you need for this is a good striping brush a nice long slip slip <laughs> sliping brush <laughs> striping brush um 
and yeah it'll just get the job done so this is my favorite striping brush it is from glitter bells i will link it down below i use this i've been using this forever um, and it's still going really good but yeah as you can see just outline the nail and then just do like a little line from the top and a little line at the corner of the free edge and that will literally be it now you guys can leave it as that if you're a beginner and that's all you feel comfortable doing but i'm gonna add some white detailing right after this black bit just because i feel like it definitely brings the nails out more and it just made it look a little bit more like a pop art kind of design so yeah i don't know why but watching this part of the video back was just really satisfying to see like the lines um yeah and like i said the the base was actually so nice and even of course i do have the gel x tips on but the gels themselves leveled out so beautiful they were so nice and opaque that i felt like the design was just going on so easy so i actually ended up curing the black part for about 30 seconds just because i wanted to cure it for a full 60 after doing the white so i'm just grabbing some white gel and i'm basically just doing a line on the opposite kind of side of the nail as you can see and i'm living living i'm leaving a tiny little space at the bottom for like a little dot as you'll see i did have to go over it twice but um that's what it looks like try to get the white as opaque as you can because that's really gonna kind of make the nail art kind of pop of course black is already so opaque but you really need that white to kind of like stand out the most and i feel like that's what really gave it that kind of pop art effect and then I killed that for a full 60 seconds and now I'm going in with the matte top coat. This kit does have a matte top coat as well, I forgot to mention it comes with a no wipe, a matte and a base. Um, so that was really nice and one thing I noticed about this matte top coat was that it wasn't cloudy. You know sometimes when you get matte top coats and they look super cloudy and you do like one thin layer on the nail, it kind of makes the nail look cloudy and it kind of just has like this milky kind of... Um, effect on the nail and i just really don't like that but this one was really nice and clear it had no weird smell it was nice and thin um, nothing too crazy and thick like some of the matte top coats i've used in the past um so yeah this one was really good and once i cure it you guys will see how nice and matte it is i feel like it definitely bought the design out a lot and there you go that's what it kind of looks like as you can see it looks so much better matte i was kind of stuck between matte and shiny but i'm so happy i went for matte so now i'm just finishing off with some cuticle oil the kit does not come with cuticle oil but um i'm just using my own and just make sure to rub that in really really good as well And this is the finished look. I really love how these nails turned out. They were super quick and easy to do. I love this kit. I think it's definitely worth the money. If you are looking for a good nail kit such as this one, then definitely go and check it out. I will leave my discount code in the description box down below, as well as all the other links to this kit and the website. So yes, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.